I'm not fearless, but uh, nobody wants to crash. I don't want to crash. It's a risk reward calculation, I think. You always need to be careful, but there is always the risk. If you want to be a professional cyclist and sprinter, I think you need to accept that. Fabio Jakobsen's high-speed crash at the 2020 Tour of Poland was one of the worst that professional cycling had ever seen. Surgery to rebuild his face alone took five hours, and he needed ten new teeth to restore his smile. But it's a smile we've seen a lot of already this season, with ten wins to his name and counting. Jakobsen on the right in the blue, one Pernard on the left. Jakobsen's going to blow him out the water. Fabio Jakobsen wins again. I do see the risk and still I enjoy the sport I do, the sprinting I do, and, uh, and of course the race winning that comes with that. Oh, look at that Jakobsen. That was absolutely superb. It's an extra motivation to have an entire team working for you. It puts on an extra element of focus for me. Uh, you could call it stress. You better make sure that you are focused at the final and you're not missing any kilometer signs or corners, but they're gonna bring you in the best possible position to win a sprint. The only thing that that should give is confidence because then you know, okay, I have an edge over my rivals. I did my training. It, it won't get any better than this, so I just need to go all for it. The start of the season has been good. Not perfect, but yeah, it is what it is. And uh, I think everybody's very motivated to build up towards the second part of the season. And uh, yeah, we, we take the spring with us and now we're getting ready for the summer. Jakobsen has already added Grand Tour stage wins to his illustrious Palmares, but the summer of 2022 will mark his debut in the most prestigious race in the cycling world. When we go there with the team, I think we will be aiming for stage wins. Uh, we're gonna go with a strong group of riders. Um, I hope to be going as a sprinter. That is the biggest goal uh, for the rest of the year. As it looks on paper, it's gonna be a nice, a nice Tour de France, I think. There's probably five sprint stages uh, the team will have to control, probably with a guy like Tim De Klerk from the beginning. Um, first week, I think there's a couple. Last week there's a couple, there's a part in the middle that doesn't really suit sprinters but you kind of have to get through. There is a couple other stages where it might be, might not and then you just need to see how good your shape is and how well yeah, you can get either over climbs or what the bunch is doing. You cannot always control that but uh, if, the, if there is a chance on a day like that we'll go for it. Expectations have always been very high for the quick-step riders at the Tour de France. This year will be no exception. I think a stage win, um, finishing the Tour also, and that I'm not the only one with a stage win. We're going there as a team. Uh, I think we got strong guys. So uh, I would say a couple of stage wins and uh, that we can give this Tour some color. Uh, we always perform there and that's the goal again this year. For a sprinter, if you get to the Champs-Élysées, it's one of the biggest achievements you can make because it means that you survived the lap around France, which is already hard and I think it's an achievement for everybody that finishes. As a sprinter, it's, it's an extra thing because you need to get over the Alps, over the Pyrenees. And then if you're able to be the fastest there, you know, on the cobbles towards the Arc de Triomphe, that is for sure something you, you want to achieve in your career. Especially as a, as a little kid, I already knew I had fast legs. And, and those are the days you're definitely either in front of the TV or uh, watching the summary a couple of times, because I think that's, you know, what sprinting is about and, uh, and especially road cycling. <laughs>